Hello, my name is Heather Hazelwood and I am an Academic Technology Specialist in the Center for Academic Technology at Butler University. Have you ever felt overwhelmed with the amount of web-based digital content you encounter on a daily basis and find it difficult to keep track of and organized? Whether in your personal or professional context, I imagine you can relate to this feeling in one way or another. In this Cat Network video, I would like to introduce you to your new best friend, a Web 2.0 tool named Digo. You can access Digo by going to www.diigo.com. Digo is a free Web 2.0 tool, but also has plans with additional features you can pay for if desired. In this video, I will be referring to the features in the free plan. At its core, Digo allows you to bookmark and organize web content in the cloud. This means your bookmarks are accessible from any computer with an internet connection and they are no longer tied to a specific browser or computer. Once you have a website stored in Digo, you can then highlight and make notes on the website that are saved so when you return to that website later, your highlights and notes are still there. Once you create your free Digo account, the next step I recommend is installing the Digo toolbar for your browser. I will demonstrate how to install the Firefox Digo toolbar. From the Firefox settings menu, choose Add-ons. Then, type Digo in the search box to find the Digo toolbar. Once you locate it, click on Install, and you will then notice it will require you to restart Firefox. With the Digo toolbar installed, Digo is now accessible from any website you go to in Firefox. So let me show you how to bookmark a website. I'm going to bookmark the Center for Academic Technology's Quick Guides site so I always know where to go to for self-help tutorials. Once you are on a website you want to bookmark, click the bookmark button in the Digo toolbar. A dialog box will appear that allows you to type in a description for that bookmark. You can also add tags, which are the keywords that will help you organize websites with similar topics. Once you click on Save, it is now stored in your Digo library. Now you can highlight the text of the website for areas you want to stand out the next time you go to that website. To do so, select the text you want to highlight, then click the Highlight button in the Digo toolbar. You can also add comments to a page. To do so, click on the Comment button in the Digo toolbar and choose Add a Floating Sticky Note to this page. A dialog box will appear for you to type your comment and then click the Post button to save it. Now, when I go to my Digo library, by clicking on the Digo drop-down menu in the Digo toolbar and choosing My Library, you see the Adding Additional Users Quick Guide at the top since it was my most recent bookmark. This short demonstration has just touched the surface of the basic functionality of Digo, but hopefully it has sparked your interest and you can begin thinking about ways in which Digo could be a valuable addition to your personal or professional life. To learn more about the features of Digo, visit www.digo.com forward slash about. To learn more about how to integrate Digo into your professional work here at Butler University, visit the Center for Academic Technology and we would love to talk to you about its possibilities.